hey guys welcome back in Guru Bangla YT and in this video I will going to give you this project this project name is vehicle spin line follow by track okay so you know that maybe you search also and you find my video that you search this that unreal engine spin line path vehicle or follow vehicle so you want that your vehicle follow a spin line track like you want to make a racing game where you you have some AI vehicles where you want to make a track that he the vehicle follow the track okay you find maybe searching like this so here's the video and I saw lots of video like tutorial video that how can I make this stuff like I'm don't know about this spin line about lots of so I saw lots of a uh, tutorial and finally I make it 80 of percent of 80 percent of video it's work but they don't give me the project file or they don't give you the project file but I am giving you you find that a project down link in the description link where you find whole project and you can learn that how I can make okay I will show you that how I make so first of all here is one vehicle uh, vehicle and this vehicle is some advanced okay this feature is not uh, available in this tutorial video okay let me show you why that uh, you can see my vehicle is at here and I can customize the speed okay like here as you can see it's my vehicle and you can pick any of uh, this spin line track and you find the rate that how much time it should be complete this whole track okay like here's the starting point and it should be go like this follow like this and come up at here that how much time it should be take so as you can see it's I'm um, set it at 0 0.01 if you increase the value it will be car should be move fast so let's start and play as you can see my car is start moving and he also have the steering inputs okay and he um, maybe my you can see as <laughs> my vehicle you know the track this track is not set up goodly so that's why it's giving some problem but however it's work okay the vehicle is following the track how we want and as you can see it's also uh, looking at left or right the steering rules also wor working and when it's come down the physicality also working so don't worry about the physicality it will be worked you know my spin line track is not so much perfect i'll set up in my world so that's why it's making you know some ugly ugly but it's work as you can see this uh, vehicle now follow this whole track in 0 0.01 seconds okay it's in milliseconds micro milliseconds maybe so as you can see no, like now think that if we go near of this spin line track let me show you that now here as you can see uh, where how um, I need to go at there okay now I'm on his you know track oh he's leaving I need her track okay let's start stay here and if you just think that we are now in his spin line track so what is happen okay let me show you okay I set up this advanced stuff that now if you are uh, near of his you know the spin line track then see what he do okay she should be uh, he should be stopped as you can see now we I am his in his track so he's stopped but if I just move him from his track he will be start the movement again okay so that is the advanced one you can make your own racing vehicle it will be good you can also remove like this stuff but uh, after the ending the whole step as you can see now it's going for the end like the spin line that it's now begin end then today again start from the zero point again and we found a smooth and high quality as you can see is again it's very loop type so I just set up the last of location at the same where I start the stuff so that's why there's no bugs or any problem so that's all so let's see that how you can also make let me just give you some guides that you find at the content buzzer just go in your vehicles then go sender and you find this AI vehicles okay so there at the AI vehicles I just add a box the box verify that are we are in the near of this vehicle or AI or not okay just it's verified for that's why I add and then make sure that your vehicle match is the simulation physicality is de enable okay or it's unenable like don't click this one or it our this timeline will be not work or our AI will be not work it with the spin line okay spin line okay so make sure it's disabled then at the event I just add the whole con and you find with color yeah so first I get the event begin play I get the rate okay this is the red one this place at the play rate that how much time it should be play this stuff 
so you can I just enable this stuff so you can now edit this stuff from your editor panel like when you drag your vehicle at your world you find this the rate option okay you can now de increase and increase from there okay that was good then you find the timeline I set the timeline with the say play rate with I can I create a timeline and uh, at the timeline I set the alpha to 0 and second one alpha equals 1 so it will be give you a smooth stuff and as you can see you use the last frame 3 and you can also add if you want auto the play okay if you want or um, loop type so I already set the loop type by this one that when it's become finished okay as you can see after the timeline finish I just set a, a delay 0 0.2 seconds and again start the play so it's give you some smooth or also you can do a stuff that you can also give some time to you know for release or just wait some time then it will be again he will be start the continue the stuff then I get the promoter variable the timeline with the float variable with the give it timeline then I just get here's the, this one is the speed and the control data okay this part uh, what I do sorry uh, this stuff and then on this stuff what I do I get the track point okay I just search and create a variable with track point I also enable it so by this what you can do is basically very simple which one you just drag in your wall like the, the track then just create your line that how you want and then what you need to do just drop your vehicle and as you can see you find that this track point just click on this eyedropper and just set your spring line track it will be get the data it's very easy as you can see by default data rate is should be 0 0.05 if you want you can change the speed now if I hit the play as you can see my vehicle is start the movement at this track okay but it will be slow because I set the timeline equals 0 to 0 5 okay so that's that is the logic then if I open it again I get the length I get the timeline with a leaper I just set at here the vehicle world and get the distance of the spin line and the rotation and just start with uh, set up with my set actual location so what does this stuff do that it will be get the spin line location and the rotation and it will be set this stuff in my vehicle okay because it's self data so whatever in my world it will be also do the go the same way like the rotation and the location okay so one is done I set up a variable for rotator rotation activer this will be help you to you know that your vehicle is starting should be go a left or right or not okay it will be set this stuff so at this point I just get to my track point make a area and connect it with this function so it's a function basically I just create at here that you can see function just open it and you find a one more code at here that I just get, get I create a input data for the track point where you can get the track data okay and uh, okay let me just turn off, uh, turn off my fan okay uh, sorry guys okay so then I get the data from my you know the path which one I created the track path okay then I create a output for the float and it's make sure it's a single not in an area the but the track point is in a area so one is done as you can see I get the spin line and again I get the root uh, location and the rotation normalized with the into variable 500 and I add it the vector plus vector then I get the fine target close at the wall then I get the finite rotation get the controller and delta rotator and just I break it and get the z value with my clamp map range clamped then I get the return value with my return data so what does this stuff do it will be get my spin line that why is the rotation of the location it will be get my actual location and the rotation then it will be send the data whole data into our delta or the rotor uh, in our clamp data and it will form the clamp will get I set it as you can see the range is minus 92 plus 90 and the output range is minus 1 to plus 1 okay by this stuff and I get the return value in my return data okay so that's all so now at here I just search the function that rotation data and just connect it with this with a area get the vehicle movement and set with my steering wheel and that is the rotation activator okay so one is done I need to you know there is a problem that at the if we are near of this vehicle I also want that my vehicle when I when we are near of this vehicle or stuff so I add a collision at here so it will be verified that are we are uh, you know we are are we are in his track or not so for verify this I just get the box collision that overlapping or not if it's overlapping so our sender 
so what will be do is basically from this position it will be stop the timeline okay it just the stop is the only uh, pose it will be don't do anything just it's pose that this timeline so if this timeline is stop the whole data will be stop doing that their work okay because they are whole depend on this timeline okay if the timeline is uh, not upgrade or if it's not working so our do our track data the track path or the rotator activity is also not work okay they are all depending on this block so we just stop it and just st also stop this stuff so then it's mean that we are off now in this road then if you are not in uh, at his as, as we can see down non C if this means that if he see that we are not near F on him so what will we do is this is very simple it will be start if you are already in stop so then he'll be do the continue the start uh, work so we just set with it play okay so that's all nothing else more okay it takes some time you know one day to make this stuff like this whole code because there you need to use lots of brain okay as the result as you can see my spin line tracker is working the vehicle is also work working so you find this whole link in the description link below with the google drive thing i hope you enjoy so don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel goodbye thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye